Hey, this is Alex at Belayed Sports. Today I'm just going to do a show and tell, and me and my guys are going to be talking about everything that we did to this FK8 and all the details we did for the build. All right. So what's going on here, man? Like, what do we do here? We got... First, we had to strip the front end because he had pretty aggressive air on it. We didn't want to mess anything up on the car, so we took that off, took that home. Going to end up doing a wide body on it. Basically did... Full crate motor from four piston, full race, provided the turbo kit for it, bolt on. Um, it's running a Quaif sequential transmission. There's um, a bunch of things that we had to yeah. do to this thing. Well, look, okay. we, we, did, we did a custom pipe right here for the blow off valve, because they don't make that. And then- Why did we use HKS? He already had, he already had that. He didn't want to switch. He didn't want to switch anything out because he yeah. likes the sequential sound. Uh, uh, and then fuel pump. We got a, a XDI fuel yeah, pump. Yeah, XDI fuel What's, pump. What's what about this XDI fuel pump? Did, did, normally it comes with a kit, but like we don't have this one is completely different. Did we have to make these lines. What happened? Yeah, we had to make the lines because we took everything behind the manifold. Now everything's down below. Yeah, on the back side of the manifold. Yeah, none of the hard lines are here. Anymore. Yeah. Well, now they're hitting downside, coming back up instead of sitting over on top of the intake manifold and all of that. Okay, so, so it's a lot yeah. tucked underneath. Yeah, so it's a lot cleaner. Look, also with the um, harness, the coil harness comes from both sides. Um, this is a custom piece from uh, Rywire. He was gracious enough to make this for us uh, since he doesn't do a custom harness for the car. Just, um, that lets it run off it. one side for a real clean look. And we were able to get rid of the hard lines for the um, internal wastegate the internal bypass valve, all that stuff. What? So it's a lot cleaner Basically. look. What are you talking about? The, it's one of the hard, you know the hard yeah. line that comes the off the hard line that comes and then off turns the... into vacuum? The hard line goes to here and then vacuum into the internal wastegate. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we don't need any of that. And then the bypass too, there's vacuum that goes into here, but we cleaned all of that because we don't need it running with the Motec ECU. Okay, and we have a Motec ECU here, right? Yep, Motec and ECU. Quave transmission. Quave transmission. What was going on with the Quave transmission? And, and then, then, then we had to get a custom cable that goes from here underneath because the other one was too short mm -hmm. for the FKA. How about these fittings? Yeah, these, okay. these lines were okay, right? Like when we they sell it, they sell it completely? Yeah, they complete. sell it completely, but the one that we had to do was way too long for this it side? yes oh. this side was way too long for it coming from the boost the the clutch so that was way too long so we had to shorten that one up and have a custom uh, custom line made okay did yeah, we have clutch, to do that or he, yeah or they, oh, we did okay. yeah clutch we masters did. clutch masters i think just use a um a hose that the thing would fit enough but it just it wrapped around so it looked really tacky we didn't do this so four piston gave us the, the motor with the bodies no he when four piston delivered the motor, he ended up taking it to uh, Downstar. Oh Downstar, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Before sending yeah. it to Frank, us, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Frank at Downstar. Before before sending it to us, dude, that's so much work. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we didn't have to do that. And then we made a custom line that goes over to the overflow reservoir. Since we didn't use any of the OEM fittings and, and lines, because they're a lot uglier compared to this yeah. line that was created. You know, Mark provided all, lot, pretty much all the parts. Yeah. You know the what is it? The spoon radiator. Spoon radiator. Yes. Mm -hmm. We got this one. We, we got uh, this he one. provided the skunk intake manifold, uh -huh. spoon, um, throttle body. Um, already had the mounts in it. He provided the Motec. That's our battery right there. Our battery and battery tray. Seven yep. pound lithium battery. There's the inner cooler. Cooler race inner cooler bolted up nicely nothing needed to be cut nothing needed to be modified to fit what did we have to modify uh, we had to modify the transmission harness because yes. it's not running a lot of those sensors that the factory one uses so instead okay. of having the harness just laying here all ugly with the OEM harness it was depinned pulled back everything that's not needed on them anymore is gone and yeah have a cleaner look on the harness. This, we can't do anything about because the whole brain, everything is sitting right here. That's that's the best we can do with that. Right here is making the yeah, custom intake for intake the, the, yeah. 
There's not much room in here sitting with the uh, AC. Made that one, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, Packy made that too. So this is going to be put right behind the headlight. Yeah. So this car's going nice. to look cool when it's all finished up. Yeah. Ugh, what's going on here? No, that's all his aftermarket light glow or light something like okay. that on his car. I want to make sure that everybody knows we didn't do that. No, yeah, we didn't no, do no, no, no wiring on that's this car. Nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this no. is all his Indiglo yeah. stuff. I think it's all getting removed. Yeah, he's oh, he's taking all that stuff out. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. Of course, you know, everybody's got a different flavor, different taste. This guy loves carbon. Can we fire that up? It still needs to be tuned, but we're, that's not what we're, we're told to do. As you can see, too, is we put the quave thing in the stock location of where the shifter normally goes oh hey what's going on here our we put everything hey, back press the button already cool thing about this is most of the time you can't run this interior stuff has anybody done that i don't know i haven't seen it so you're either running none of this plastic right here or this boot is gone but we wanted it to look oem from this beeping there's no and they did a good job when the car's beeping with a no key? I don't know. I'm gonna cut that, Aaron. What's that? Oh, he has the EDFC. Yes. Damn, I haven't seen one of these in Perkin forever. Hey, this thing's in neutral, right? Yes, it's in neutral. Why is what it clutch do you use? Uh, it's a twin disc from Clutch Masters. Okay. What's that noise? That's the clutch. That's the clutch? Yeah, at the end of the day, it's still a street car. You don't want to have a nice car, full interior, roll bar, all that stuff, and then no center console. Or it torn apart just to put your sequential in. Yeah, that's nice. Just go shifts up and down. Now, what was the one? What we, do not shift, do not drive shift a sequential transmission when it's not, when it's, uh, when it's not running. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a big deal. That's that cool. Stuff. What did he do? The, this whole this whole display. I mean, he's gonna have everything: oil pressure, engine temp, everything on this thing. No added sensors. No nothing. It's piggybacking off the ECU. Leave this or oh, that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the film. yeah. Yeah, let him take that. Out. Yeah.
are going to be switched into the rainbow titanium stuff. Oh, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is decorative yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's just carried over from the original motor. You already have this, you just texture it, black texture instead of red. And we made it more simple too. He had that remote mount oil filter up here. We went back down to the regular oil cooler, put the oil filter back in the regular location. Wait, was just the oil filter? Was the oil filter located? Yeah, it was up here. It was mounted up here. Yeah, the ready one, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 because at the end of the day, we wanted to clean up the engine bay more than uh, it was. I know you said this car was in SEMA in 2017 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Somewhere like that. 2017 or 2019, I don't remember. Yeah. And so now we want to the whole freshly built. Oh, let's get all that little bit. What is that for? I think that's a do not touch from white. Take that oh. Out. So they, that's crazy how they do that. Yeah. So you do take, cut that off to take the bolt out, and you do, that's it, one of these over. Yeah, I think it's like a night and day as well. That's what you do when you buy a plate. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty wild. That's cool. Back to the gauge cluster. Oh, it's okay for me to do it, right? I'm going to do it. Okay, pressing clutch. Never had one of these quaff ones yet. So if anybody's curious. So up for re reverse. Up is reverse. So then down. Down? Yeah. That's neutral. Neutral. And then one more. How do we do we even know? No, it doesn't say anything? Cluster hasn't been Oh, yet. it will though, right? Yes, it will. This first. That's first. Second. second. Third. Four, fifth. Dude, I have no idea what gear I'm in. Sorry. Okay. What do I do now? <laughs> Just keep going forward, and then you'll feel it going to neutral when it hits like a. Well, now it's not letting me go forward. So am I in reverse? Lift up. Lift up. Lift up on the on the handle, the center right there. Lift up, and then push it forward. That'll be neutral. That's okay. Neutral. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in neutral now. I'm putting the clutch out. Okay, good. That's scary. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I kind of thought of it. I'm like, oh man, no. I've never done one before. I've never been in one before, so with a quaff, so you get. And if the gauge cluster doesn't tell you what gear you're in, you're like kind of. Uh, oh really? Oh, so you have to put a gear position sensor to tell if you're what gear in. Damn, man, that's kind of, I don't know about driving around like that. It's going to take a lot of getting used to. I wonder how much vibration this car is going to have with these motor mounts. I don't know. Yeah. The direct injection is so loud, dude. All you hear is the injectors and the pump just pop, 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 pop. On, off, on, off, on, off the whole time. How come it keeps beeping? Well, I mean, anything else, guys? Anything else that you guys can think about talking about before this car leaves? I don't got, you know, we didn't document anything while it was going on. Doesn't it need aftermarket axles with this transmission? Aaron. Oh, uh, I think he gave us. Does this DS, need? DS, oh, no, he gave us insane aftermarket axles. Yeah, aftermarket yeah, insane axles. axles. Stock, Stock axles, axles work, yeah, but, but, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he, he used insane shafts, but, but okay. Would this transmission stock axles work? That's a good, you know, yeah. people don't know that. And they might want to know when, when you do the quaff, you know, I'm video. I'm just hiding some of the coolant lines when they're running back instead of them coming out and, and forward, they're running just straight back so that they're not just looping all over the place that OEM has it, it's really ugly. Using the OEM hose, OEM clamps, all that stuff, I mean, no one's gonna notice that. They're gonna think, oh, that's the way it's done. I know. I mean, the covers on the 
on the hoses. Covers. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, those, oh the, the heat, the, the sleeves. The yeah. sleeves. That's, that's, we ran everything behind. Normally it's on top. So we hit everything behind it. So it goes down below. Oh yeah, I can see right there. Anything to add, Aaron? No, I think you guys pretty much got it covered. You know, what did we have to do over? Aaron, didn't we have to change I that? I mean, this bracket? The just the, just the. Full race, race gave us the, the yeah. wrong yeah. bracket. and. Kudos to them. They, I mean, they sent out. Oh, the bracket was yeah. wrong, but yeah. it wasn't this different that too. Was, yeah, yeah, that, was yeah, that too. whole yeah. thing is completely different. Okay, good, because the first one did not work. Yeah, and they sent yeah. that out to us. So, I mean, that was really cool. I mean, everything else went in pretty good. The, the, the auto body was the one I noticed. They were kind of scratching their head on trying to figure out how it's going to work with tucking the hose and all that stuff. So. I wasn't really tucking the hose, it just couldn't plug it on any other way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's could, what I meant. Because it would hit. It was the, so close to the brake the master. Brake, brace, yeah. The brake master. Yeah. The brake master in the back. Oh, right here? If it the was booster? Flipped, yeah. The, oh, no, no, the master. Yeah, you're right. The master. The master. So if you flip it over to the other side, the, the back half of the throttle body would be hitting on it. So that's why we, we turned it that way so it would face so then it could clear the so brake. So, note to anybody using ultra manifold, right? You got to flip the throttle body around. This was gonna hit. What part was gonna hit? The hard line? Right here. This part of the right here. Uh -huh, this uh -huh. big old thing was gonna hit right back here on the back side. Cause see all the hard lines are right here still. Oh, okay. So there you go. You didn't have a enough room in here for this this piece right here. Yeah, that's the that's this that's not a servo, I forget what it's called. I wonder what happens if you don't throttle. run the plenum spacer though. If it'll give you that room that you need after that. I think you probably you would have given us the room. Because that space is pretty big. I so, just noticed that. Okay, that's good to know. So maybe if you didn't run maybe, so Yeah, if you run didn't run it, you'd probably have the room. But yeah, I don't you know run if that the would take away. The way Aaron, would to. that take away torque or anything like that? Or it would be yeah. fine? Probably. This valve cover took six months to get. <laughs> uh, this is Japan, dude. Hey, when it cools down, can we flip this over? So it's... Yeah. Don't to put it like that. The Motec. How are we gonna? Are we just gonna leave this the way it is? Yeah, it doesn't. It no, doesn't no, that, come that's off. that's for uh, the tuner. Yeah, I know, but it after it's sweaty. Already... I already asked Pat that. Oh, yeah. It stays. It has like to that. stay like yeah. that. That's. Ooh. Behind the just, headlight though, so if we could tuck yeah, it behind yeah, the headlight. Tuck it? Well. And then he has a cover that goes over the top of that, a carbon one. But he's gonna yeah, have to no, but do I mean, some just, cutting. Yeah. Kind of, you have to leave it plugged in? You can't un No, you can't unplug it. Yeah, that's what I can say. Oh. Uh, okay. It could be full of shit too. Because it actually requires extra work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super fucking happy the way this came out, man. I'm happy the way it came out too. Yeah. The way we like just did little things that made it a lot cleaner, for sure. Well, like the tuck, the wire yeah, tuck. Like the yeah. Wire yeah. Tuck. yeah, dude. Ryan didn't even want to make a harness for no. this. I remember. No. No. He was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. The yeah. Guy begged him. Yeah. And Ryan's like, fine. And then when the boys tucked the hard lines, the OEM hard lines, that looks so much better now. And then the, the, the ones I was telling you, like the with the hard here. lines yeah. and the harness coming the harness off of the, on the top. Right oh, you know what valve cover I just saw that I like? And I'm sure it fits on these valve covers. The co the plug covers, not the FK one, the FK2. The plug FK cover? Yeah, the, just, the, you know, the yeah, engine cover. The, engine co the FK2 oh, the engine is cover. different. Oh, and really? it looks cooler. Yeah, it leaves this part of, like this half is still exposed. And then it covers like this and it says Honda. It's red. It's just nice, like oh, a nice. gloss red and it says Honda. Really? Yeah, I'll have to look at that. It, it, it's really nice. I like it better. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, now the car's finally done. We got nothing else to do. We had an oil leak for a little bit. And just, that was a hose clamp down there. I remember that one right there. Yeah, on the drain. Yep. It was just a little bit loose. So we had to go through all that business. No coolant leak? Nothing. Nothing leaks no more. Right. Right here we had a little bit, right? At first? Oh, yeah. The coolant leak off right the back there? side of the turbo. Yeah. 
The back side? This is the really? back side. Yeah, just, oh, it just had to be snug. It was oh. just a, the line. Oh, and then the fact you had to flare this, didn't you? Yes. Did you have to redo this, this, this line? I just flared it a little bit to keep the nose from coming off it. Because these, these are the uh, gates. gates. Gates? Yeah. You put them on, you heat shrink it, or you... you yeah, you, you use a heat gun. And it shrinks it up. did you use a torch? <laughs> Whatever gets it done. Yeah. Yeah, so then no more, no no ugly hose clamp. Yeah. But one time use only. Yep. You have to slice, you have to slice it off. I don't know. You guys got anything else? I don't got anything else. Yeah, damn. Making a video like that makes it seem like we didn't do much to it. Yeah, but we really did do a lot to it. But yeah, it but you just, can't relay that when yeah, you're no, saying exactly. like, oh, the whole harness we had. To that's why. Take that's why people film while you're doing it. But then it makes the build like it makes it ultimately slower to build a car when yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah, to film sure. while doing it. And this car took long enough because freaking all kinds of parts were missing. You know, waiting, waiting, waiting for this, waiting for that. Months to get the motor. First day, four pistons sent the wrong motor. Yeah. What was wrong with that motor? motor? And they painted it, but he bought a brand new motor. Oh. So we didn't notice it until we asked where the flywheel was. He said it was bolted onto the thing. It wasn't there. That's when it took a red flag that, hey, this is not the wrong. same motor. Yeah. And then it was painted. Yeah. Of, oh, it was yeah, yeah. Silver instead of being brand new block oh yeah he bought a brand new block and mm -hmm. sent it to him yep yeah. no, it, it oh, was just off a piece yeah oh oh, oh yeah buy it yeah if you oh, want us to build okay. a brand new motor gotcha because for this it buys a brand new motor from honda and then they rebuild hey, it they, they cnc and scrap on the silver head that's yep. cool cool this is what it is yeah we had to wait like months to get the other motor and then then it's like you, yeah, you work on it one, months. you work on one day out of the week, <laughs> and then you gotta wait for someone else, and you just can't even like keep moving. Yeah. It makes it hard. Or when you start moving, you're like, oh, I need this fitting. Then oh, you gotta stop on yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep. It's like the 2022 Civic that we can't finish. Everything. Every time yeah. we fucking need another part. Where did this come from? That it's part from of full, full race. races. Wow, they gotta do all that? Yeah. It makes their bolting on their intercooler just simple bolt on again no cutting no nothing what happens when you crash <laughs> intercooler takes a shit i mean you still I mean, got is that this a strong enough crash bar yeah. no <laughs> do you know <laughs> i don't think so dude. i don't think so either. yeah that's, that's gonna... just a piece of square that tube square... that they bent and that's it it's just meant to hold the <laughs> The front of the intercooler and that. Hey, Aaron, what do you think about this bar? Yeah, if you crash the FK, you don't want it anyways. <laughs> Seriously. Like, look, what do you look? You're like, mm. uh, It's a bar? I think it's yeah, a bar. No, but it's like, like, really just to hold the intercooler. intercooler. Yeah, yeah, so. It doesn't do much more than that. Like so, adios, adios for an end if you hit something, huh? I guess that's kind of like the way back in the day when we used to take the front crash bar off take our Civics. Crash bar off and just you're like, it's yeah, 12 so pounds of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 pounds of weight. And then, but then once you crashed, you're like, oh, oh it's totaled. Now my car is. I, just, I wish I had that. All right, let's pretty much kill it. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys like it. This is just a show and tell. So, very, very impromptu video.